Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. Today I have a very special project video for you guys and that is the making of a custom pilon or food masher, mortar, or otherwise cooking utensil that originates from Puerto Rico. I had a viewer reach out to me through email and wanted to know if I would be interested in making them a custom project that resembled the woodworking mallet they saw in my videos occasionally. What they wanted was not a mallet per se, but something that was used by their grandmother in Puerto Rico for food preparations, crushing herbs for medicinal uses, and other things. The customer requested this object as a reminder of their cultural and ancestral history from Puerto Rico and the Tiano culture. Now, I am no expert and I'm only going to regurgitate things I got from researching and from the customer himself regarding Tianos. They are the native indigenous people of the Caribbean, islands such as Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. They were also the first people that Columbus met in the quote-unquote New World way back in 1492. In addition to that, a lot of our modern-day words come from Tianos, things such as canoe, hammock, and even barbecue. There'll be links down below for other informative and educational resources if you would like to learn more about the Tiano culture. So let's go ahead and jump in and build this. I started off by taking a piece of hard maple that was six quarter or an inch and a half thick and a piece of four quarter or one inch walnut. I sandwiched the walnut between the maple and glued them up overnight. I used my woodworking mallet as a rough reference for this project as it is what inspired the customer to reach out to me originally by seeing the woodworking mallet here and there in my videos. Using the designs given by the customer, I finished turning everything on the wood lathe, adding accent lines and wood burn marks as well. Once the pilon was done on the lathe, I then took it over to the workbench to begin wood burning the symbol on the actual piece itself. This is the Tiano symbol for the sun. Using my marking knife with a very sharp point, I poked holes all around the perimeter and edges of this design all the way through the paper and into the wood itself. This effectively gave me one massive connect the dot mess to then make sure I would burn correctly and filled in to match the image. With the sun image done, the next step was to oil the actual pilon itself. Not knowing whether the customer would actually use this for food preparations or just decoration, I decided to use a plant-based food safe oil for the finish. I soaked it thoroughly all around top and bottom and let it sit overnight. Here is the finished product. This turned out great. I love the size and dimensions of it. I like the variations of the walnut and maple, but I most like the sun image that's wood burned on it. It looks very cool and gives it a lot of character. I was very pleased to make this for the customer and I think they're going to appreciate it too. It was very special to me that a viewer reached out to me and asked me to make something that was going to mean so much to them. Hope you guys appreciated it. Leave a comment down below what you thought and I'll see you guys next time in the workshop. 